CDC officials and other Democrat quacks are scrambling to come up with a new name for monkeypox that won't stigmatize promiscuous homosexuals who have anal sex with multiple strangers and then break out in pustules so that everyone knows they've degraded themselves, making them literally stigmatized. Monkeys would also like to have the disease renamed so they aren't associated with those people. Monkey spokesman Jojo the Monkey told reporters, quote, Calling this disease monkeypox is offensive, not just to simians, but to animals all the way down the evolutionary chain. Sure, we throw excrement at one another and make indecipherable EEE noises like a bunch of idiots, but we're not stupid and uncivilized enough to hold orgies in San Francisco. I personally have been faithful to the same sexual partner for 15 years now. And sure, partly that's because I'm locked in a cage with her, but if the Supreme Court gave me the right to get married, I'd do it in a minute. Unless I could get out of this cage, then I'd move to San Francisco, unquote. A Democrat spokesman, also named Jojo the Monkey, explained the party's policy to a classroom of five-year-olds, saying, quote, We must not allow a disease that largely spreads through a debased and unhealthy lifestyle to become an impediment to promiscuous idiots who want to debase themselves and destroy their health. Otherwise, people might start to develop self-respect and personal discipline, and there'd be no one left to vote for Democrats. Oh, and by the way, kids, if anyone would like to further explore alternative sexualities, see me after class, unquote. Other Democrats were quick to point out that renaming diseases has been central to their party's approach to health care. Democrat activist Jojo the Groomer explained this strategy to a cage full of homosexual <laughs> monkeys, saying, quote, During the pandemic, it was very important to us that COVID wasn't called the Chinese flu or the yellow fever or the Wu flu or the flu Manchu or the flu shoe pork or any other name that, yes, might have been both hilarious and accurate, but would have reminded people that the disease was developed and released by Chinese officials, which would have unfairly stigmatized evil communists trying to destroy the West so they can enslave the world. Our renaming efforts were highly successful since most people now call the disease COVID and keep their real opinions to themselves, unquote. Similarly, with the disease formerly known as monkeypox, although 98% of cases arise in men who have reckless sex with men, medical professionals are reluctant to call men who have sex with men homosexuals and instead call them men who have sex with men and then nudge each other and wink knowingly and snigger at them behind their backs when they walk away. Since talking complete nonsense has become central to Democrat health efforts, Vice President Kamala Harris has been enlisted to spread the word. In a speech to a group of people who also don't speak English, VP Harris said, quote, The future is now, only later. So we can't go back to yesterday, which would also be now, if now were tomorrow, which it was the day before. Therefore, we must look ahead to where the future would be if it weren't now. And by the way, try not to sodomize half a dozen strangers so you don't break out in pustules, unquote. Democrats feel the monkeypox renaming effort is so important, they have assigned the work to the party's central committee for renaming awful things so they sound less awful, also known as the Biden administration. Up till now, the committee has been hard at work on other projects, which include renaming a recession a transition so that no one will notice it's a transition into a recession, renaming inflation something or other about Putin so people will stop calling it Bidenflation, which is just so damn catchy, and banning the word groomer so Democrats can continue sexually grooming children without being called groomers. The chairman of the renaming committee, Jojo the Monkey, (laughs) says, It says the committee has created a list of possible new names for monkeypox, including the Don't Say Gay Pox, the It's Just a Coincidence You Went to the Kink Festival and Then Broke Out in Pustules Pox, and the January 6 Pox. When asked what the pox had to do with January 6, Jojo responded, not a damn thing, but at this point, January 6 is all we've got. If you want that Claveny goodness to keep on coming, like and subscribe and subscribe to the Andrew Claven Podcast. <laughs>